Hello everyone, I am Karima and I am currently pursuing my graduation in Economics and English. Also, I am a third year student. So today I am going to take a class on Phillips curve. So I will simplify this curve for you people. So let's start with this important curve. Phillips curve. Phillips curve is a curve which is discovered by William Phillips and he was a New Zealand economist. Also, he discovered this curve on the basis of UK economy in between the years of 1860 to 1967. So, this curve William Phillips ne discover kiya tha kis basis pe UK economy ke basis pe aur kin years ke basis pe on the years of 1860 to 1967. So, what he did was he did a very thorough research throughout these years and found a very common pattern between two things. Between what? between unemployment and inflation. So let's discuss what is this Phillips curve about. Phillips curve basically reveals a relationship between two things that is unemployment and inflation. So Phillips curve हमें relationship बताता है किस type का relationship है unemployment और inflation के बीच में. Now you have heard and also use these two terms multiple times in your daily lives. So firstly let's discuss what are these terms about. Then we will come back to Phillips curve. First term is unemployment. Unemployment is when you are not able to get a job or when you are jobless or when you have no source of income. So we can say that unemployment is a situation when you are willing to get a job but you are not able to get it. So unemployment is a situation when you want to get a job but according to your desires, according to your needs and requirements, you can't get a job. Now the second term is inflation. Inflation is a very common term. It means whenever there is general increase in the price level in the economy. And a very common word which you used for this situation is mehengai. When commodities ke prices continuously increase on lag jate, then this situation is called inflation. So what William Phillips found about these two things? He found that there is negative relationship between unemployment and inflation. What is this negative relationship? It means whenever inflation will increase, unemployment will fall and whenever inflation will fall, unemployment will increase. This is what negative relationship is. And second important thing is he discovered that there is trade-off between unemployment and inflation. Now what is this trade-off? Trade-off means whenever you have two things and you have to maintain balance between these two things. For example, unemployment and inflation. Hai. So, jab bhi tum inflation ko gain karoge, unemployment automatically lose ho jayegi utni hi. Right? So, this is what trade-off is. That you have two things and you have to maintain a balance between two things. That whenever you will gain one thing, the another one will automatically lose. And whenever you will lose one thing, another will automatically gain. So, William Phillips ne discover kiya that uh, first thing is there is negative relationship between unemployment and inflation and second thing is there is trade-off between unemployment and inflation. Now let's discuss explanation which he gave for this situation or we can say for this relationship. So he gave a situation to explain this relationship between unemployment and inflation. Let's assume expansionary policies come into play. It can be monetary policy or it can be fiscal policy. The basic difference between them is monetary policy are taken by central bank to stimulate the economy growth and fiscal policy are the policies which are taken by central government to stimulate the economy growth. So monetary policy central bank leta hai and how do they work? Uh, central bank either change the interest level or change the money supply and uh, how do the fiscal policy work? Fiscal policy may government will either bring changes in government expenditures or in the revenues. So let's assume government took expansionary fiscal policy. Expansionary fiscal policy mein kya hoga? Government will either increase its government expenditures or decrease the level of taxation or we can say revenue to stimulate the economic growth. 
सो गवर्नमेंट ने अपने एक्सपेंडिचर्स को इंक्रीज कर दिया ड्यू टू विच डिमांड बढ़ गई एंड इफ डिमांड विल इंक्रीज वॉट विल हैपन प्रोड्यूसर्स विल ऑल्सो हैव टू इंक्रीज देयर प्रोडक्शन टू मैच द लेवल ऑफ डिमांड नाउ प्रोड्यूसर्स हैव टू इंक्रीज देयर प्रोडक्शन विच मीन्स दे विल नीड मोर लेबर टू इंक्रीज देयर प्रोडक्शन राइट सो डिमांड फॉर लेबर विल ऑल्सो इंक्रीज डिमांड फॉर लेबर विल ऑल्सो इंक्रीज विच मीन्स एम्प्लॉयमेंट विल इंक्रीज और वी कैन से अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट विल फॉल सो हमें एक आस्पेक्ट मिल गया हमारे रिलेशनशिप का डैट इज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट विच इज फॉलिंग राइट सो अगर अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट फॉल होगी विच मीन्स एम्प्लॉयमेंट इज इंक्रीजिंग लेबर्स विल हैव मोर बार्गेनिंग पावर विच मीन्स दे विल बार्गेन मोर एंड दे विल डिमांड फॉर मोर वेजेस एंड हायर वेजेस and firms will also have to increase their wages so what firms will do is firms will increase the nominal wages ye is burden ko shift kar dengi they will simply shift this burden to the consumers how what they will do is they will bring changes in prices of commodity they will increase the prices of commodity jiski wajah se all burden will shift to consumer राइट सो हमें सेकेंड आस्पेक्ट भी हमारे रिलेशनशिप का मिल गया डैट इज इन्फ्लेशन विच इज इंक्रीजिंग सो वॉट वी कम कंक्लूड इज वेन एवर अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट फॉल्स इन्फ्लेशन विल इंक्रीज सो लेट मी सम अप अगेन फर्स्टली वी हैव डन इवोल्यूशन ऑफ फिलिप्स कर्व डैट इट इज डिस्कवर्ड बाय विलियम फिलिप्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ यू के इकोनॉमी एंड देन वी केम टू Phillips curve. Now this curve is also called original Phillips curve, right? We have found that there is negative relationship between these two things, that is unemployment and inflation. And also, second important thing is there is trade off between these two things, right? Then we came to the situation which William Phillips gave us to understand the relationship between unemployment and inflation. What he explained, he explained that. we have assumed that expansionary fiscal policy come into play due to which our demand increase now if demand will increase producers will also have to increase their production to match the level of demand and if production will have to increase it means firms will need more labor which means hamari demand jo hai labor ki wo bhi increase ho jayegi this ka matlab hai employment increase ho jayegi aur unemployment fall ho jayegi now if employment will increase that means workers will have more bargaining power so they will demand higher wages now firms have to increase their wages but they will shift this burden they will shift the burden of increase in the prices of cost of production to the prices of commodity jo bhi cost of production mein increment ho raha hai wo firms shift kar denge to the consumers by bringing changes in the prices of a commodity सो इन्फ्लेशन वाली सिचुएशन अराइज हो जाएगी जिससे हमें रिलेशनशिप मिला डैट इज अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट इज फॉलिंग एंड इन्फ्लेशन इज राइजिंग नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड इट थ्रू दी डायग्रामेटिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन हे इज अ डायग्राम यू कैन सी डैट एक्स एक्सेस रिप्रेजेंट अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट ऑफ अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड वाई एक्सेस रिप्रेजेंट रेट ऑफ इन्फ्लेशन नाउ हेयर यू कैन सी एट पॉइंट ए unemployment is more and inflation is less while at point b if unemployment is less inflation is more which depicts what which depicts negative relationship and secondly trade off right now look at this curve which i have drawn for you this is downward sloping now why phillips curve is downward sloping because there is negative relationship इन दोनों के बीच इनवर्स रिलेशनशिप है और जब भी दो चीजों के बीच इनवर्स रिलेशनशिप होता है यू विल ऑलवेज ड्रॉ डाउनवर्ड स्लोपिंग कर्व बिकॉज वेन यू गेन वन थिंग यू विल लूज एनदर वन नाउ दिस इज यू वन यू वन मीन्स इन्फ्लेशन यू वन डिपेक्ट इन्फ्लेशन वाई बिकॉज यहाँ पे अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट कम है और इन्फ्लेशन ज्यादा है सो दिस इज कॉल्ड दिस सिचुएशन डिपेक्ट इन्फ्लेशन 
and uh, this u2 depicts what u2 depicts deflation why because here you can see unemployment is more unemployment is more which means inflation will less now what is this u asterisk or you, we can say u star u star is basically natural rate of unemployment what is natural rate of unemployment natural rate of unemployment means minimum rate of unemployment kabhi bhi unemployment zero nahi ho sakti there will always be minimum rate of unemployment and you can also call this situation full rate of employment because minimum rate of unemployment hamesha rahegi and this minimum rate of unemployment is frictional unemployment itself now what is this frictional unemployment frictional unemployment means whenever you shift one job to another this unemployment creates so is situation ko full employment rate bhi bolte hain because it is the minimum rate of unemployment right so this is what philips curve now what policy makers started doing was they started formulating their policies on the basis of this relationship which william philips gave that is negative relationship and trade off between unemployment and inflation to jab bhi unemployment increase ho jati thi so what policy makers started doing was policy makers start formulating such policies जिससे इन्फ्लेशन इंक्रीज हो जाए क्योंकि जब भी इन्फ्लेशन इंक्रीज होगी अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट फॉल हो जाएगी राइट फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक्सपेंशनरी मोनिट्री पॉलिसी और एक्सपेंशनरी फिजिकल पॉलिसी जिससे इन्फ्लेशन इंक्रीज हो जाए और अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट ऑटोमेटिकली फॉल हो जाए बट नाइनटीन सेवेंटी में कुछ ऐसी सिचुएशन क्रिएट होती हुई नजर आई जिसकी वजह से फिलिप्स का पूरा फेल होता हुआ नजर आया नाउ वॉट इज दिस सिचुएशन दिस सिचुएशन वॉज stagflation stagflation means whenever there is gradual economic growth due to high unemployment rate and high inflation rate so both unemployment rate and inflation rate was increasing at higher speed in 1970 jiski wajah se philips curve thoda fail hota hua nazar aaya tha and this is also the reason that philips curve is called original philips curve because though philips curve were that is in short run and long run so original philips curve is on the basis of short run because it can work only in the short run and now second one is modern philips curve which was discovered after this situation that is stagflation by fredman and phelps and uh, they discovered this curve on the basis of natural rate of unemployment and also they showed the relationship between two things in the long run that how do they work in the long run so we have discussed the original philips curve and now we will discuss the modern one into the next video i hope you have understood this original philips curve that works in short run and also if you have any doubt regarding this original philips curve you can contact me to this email id which i have mentioned in this slide thank you so much